Next is Time in the Secret Place with Prophetess Equilla Miller, right here on the New Creation Christian Network. This is the Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Prophetess Equilla, and you are joining me for Time in the Secret Place, where I'm here with you every Tuesday and Thursday on the New Creation Christian Network. So, welcome to today's broadcast. If you've been joining me this week, we are talking about learning how to break through. And so this is session two. And in our first session, we really looked at learning how to break through with God and that Jesus is our breaker. Hallelujah. And he's going before us. Hallelujah. To break us through. So we're going to continue on this subject, but really focusing on how you are also personally anointed by the Holy Spirit for breakthrough. The Holy Spirit is going to help you break through. So I hope you have your secret place um, notebook and journal. If you are new to the broadcast, one of the things that I encourage you to do is to have a notebook or a tablet um, for the secret place and begin to take down the scriptures and the main thoughts. Um, a lot of times I will reference something that I have recently shared on um, in a different teaching. And so if you have your secret place notebook, everything will be right there um, for you. And so I'm encouraging you to do that, beloved, because I'm believing that everyone that is tuning in to this um, broadcast is being drawn here by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is taking us, building us. He's taking us somewhere. Okay? And so just have your pen and your, your pads ready. Praise the Lord. Now, as a recap, I just want to give you Mecca 2.13. Remember, Jesus is our example. The Bible says that God anointed Jesus and Jesus is our breaker. So in Micah 2.13, it says the breaker is come up before them. They have broken up and have passed through the gate and are gone out by it. And their king shall pass before them. And the Lord on the head of them. Well, Jesus is our king. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And he is going before us, breaking open new territory for us. He's breaking us into, hallelujah, new arenas, new levels, new realms. Hallelujah. And if you have felt restricted, if you have felt um, like the enemy is trying um, to restrain you and keep you out of a dimension 
a sphere that you know the Holy Spirit is leading you into, then just know that Jesus, hallelujah, is going before you and he's going to break you through. This is a time where um, I'm speaking prophetically, hallelujah, that you're going to begin to see breakthrough, breakthrough in the area of business, breakthrough in the area of your health, breakthrough in the area of your ministry, hallelujah, in the area of finances, hallelujah. This is a time of breakthrough. This is a season of breakthrough. The Lord is releasing, hallelujah, breaker angels, hallelujah, to help us break through. So I just want you to just get that in your spirit as I continue um, to minister the word of the Lord to you on today. Now, God anointed Jesus um, with the Holy Spirit and with power, and that's in Acts 10, 38. It says, you know that God anointed Jesus from Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Jesus went everywhere and did good things such as healing everyone who was under the devil's power. Jesus did these things because God was with him. Okay. And so just like God was with Jesus and God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and with power, you have been anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power. Hallelujah. And you are anointed for breakthrough. Okay, hallelujah. And when we talk about the anointing, we can look at Isaiah 10, 27 to pull um, a definition or what the purpose is, what the anointing is. So in Isaiah 10, 27, it says, and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing now we have an enemy hallelujah satan and he's trying to put a yoke on us and if you can get um a yoke was a harness it was a restraint and it when i was um, studying and just praying over this teaching, the Holy Spirit said, showed me a picture of a straight jacket in my mind. So a lot of times the yoke is a symbol of bondage. It's a symbol of the enemy trying to control, to restrict, to restrain, but God, hallelujah, the anointing, the anointing is the burden, removing yoke, destroying power of God. And so I'm telling you on today, I'm ministering to encourage you, hallelujah, that the anointing that's upon your life, hallelujah, is going to break and to destroy, hallelujah, to demolish and dismantle, hallelujah, everything that the enemy has placed in your life, every demonic resistance, every demonic obstacle, every demonic barrier, hallelujah, the anointing is going to, hallelujah, help you to break through. So I want you to just get that in your spirit today, that you are anointed to break through. Breakthrough is a part of spiritual warfare, okay? And I touched on that in session one. We went to Ephesians um, 6 and 12. And so we talked about putting on the full armor. And so we're going to go a little further on today. Now, Luke 10, 19 says, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. That's the King James. Now, let me give it to you in the God's word. It says, I have given you, this is Jesus talking to his people. This is Jesus talking to you. I have given you the authority to trample snakes and scorpions and to destroy the enemy's power. Nothing will hurt you. You see, you have the anointing. 
Hallelujah. You have the Holy Spirit. You have power and authority. Hallelujah. You have the delegated authority. Hallelujah. You have the burden removing, yoke destroying power of God operating in your life. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah, you have been given authority and power over the enemy's ability to yoke you, to bind you. Okay. Hallelujah. I want you to say, I'm anointed for breakthrough. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have to understand we, and I'm sure that you do that where God is taking you, hallelujah, the enemy wants to stop you from getting where God has, is taking you. Many of you, you know, you have a prophetic destiny. Hallelujah. You spend time. Um, the Holy Spirit has been revealing to you. Hallelujah. What he has for you. He's been revealing to you what he has for you in the next season. Hallelujah. And so you have to begin to press in. You have to have a spirit of breakthrough. You have to have a spirit of the overcomer. Hallelujah. That you have to have a spirit um, like Joshua and Caleb that you are well able to possess your land, that you are well able to possess your promise. Okay. Hallelujah. It's only the enemy that's trying to keep you from possessing your promise. Okay. Hallelujah. But you've got to become, hallelujah, a warrior. You've got to become violent in the spirit to get your breakthrough. There's a sound to breakthrough in the spirit. You know, think about if you drop a plate, if you, if you drop a glass, hallelujah, it shatters, it breaks. There's a loud sound. Hallelujah. Well, that's a violent sound. Hallelujah. Well, breakthrough, there's a violence that takes place in the realm of the spirit. It, hallelujah as you break through Matthew 11 12 I'm going to give you that write down Matthew 11 12 and I'm going to give it to you from the King James Version first it says and from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violent take it by force your faith hallelujah is a spiritual force that is pressing in to the heavenlies hallelujah into the heavenly realm hallelujah to possess your hallelujah prophetic promises hallelujah to get the blessings that god has laid up for you in heavenly places the enemy is trying to block you trying to stop you from pressing in to the heavenly realms but because you know that you have an anointing hallelujah you're going to break through that Matthew eleven twelve, 12, um, the God's word says from the time of John, the baptizer until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing and forceful people have been seizing it. See, you have to have a force. You have to have strength. You have to have tenacity. Hallelujah. You have to, you have to have perseverance in the spirit. Hallelujah. To get what God has for you. Hallelujah. Laid up in heavenly places. Now God is not um, keeping it from you. No, Jesus put it there for you. The enemy is trying to resist. He's trying to block. He's trying to fight. Um, but we go after it. Hallelujah. Because we have that faith that says, hallelujah, I'm going to possess my land. I'm going to possess my promise. Now, let me give you Ephesians 1. Three, it says, blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. See, we are going after, hallelujah, our promises in the realm of the spirit. Everything that God has for us is already done. Everything that God has for us is laid up in heavenly places and we have to access it by faith. Hallelujah. Everything begins in the spirit. Hallelujah. And it manifests in the natural. Hallelujah. But we have to go and get it in the spirit with the force of our faith, with our prayer, with our declaration. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Are you understanding? Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah. Jesus wants us, hallelujah, to get our stuff. That's why he's the breaker. Hallelujah. Jesus is breaking through and he's helping us. And we have the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, that's helping us. We have to fight the good fight of faith. 1 Timothy 6, 12, King James Version. It says, fight the good fight fight of faith hallelujah so you have a devil the devil is who hallelujah is trying to keep you from your blessings okay but you are anointed to break through you have been given power and you have been given authority over all hallelujah the works of the enemy amen hallelujah praise god i want you to say this the holy spirit hallelujah is anointing me hallelujah to break through amen now the holy spirit is also going to show you what you need to do to get your breakthrough the holy spirit will show you the holy spirit will teach you what you need to do to get your breakthrough the holy spirit is our helper hallelujah the one of the functions of the holy spirit is to help us one of the um functions of the holy spirit is to pray hallelujah on our behalf so let me give you first john 220 this is the king james um version it says but you have an unction from the holy one and you know all things he's talking about the holy spirit first john 2 20 in the god's word says the holy one has anointed you so you have all knowledge so somebody say it again say i am anointed for breakthrough hallelujah praise god um the holy spirit as your helper i want to make sure you get the scripture write down john 16 7 it says however i am telling you the truth now this is jesus talking to his disciples however i am telling you the truth it is good for you that i am going away if i don't go away the helper won't come to you but if i go i will send him to you so jesus sent the holy spirit hallelujah on the day of pentecost he sent the holy spirit hallelujah to help us hallelujah to walk in this life to have victory hallelujah to walk with us as our counselor as our teacher hallelujah as our intercessor okay there's just so much that the holy spirit does that's why i'm telling you you are anointed for breakthrough so in acts 2 1 through 4 this is the day of pentecost when the holy spirit showed up hallelujah um it says and when the day of pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord hallelujah in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as fire and it set upon each of them and they were all filled with the holy ghost and they began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance now i want you to understand the holy spirit is here hallelujah and the holy spirit again is the power of god hallelujah the holy spirit is empowering us hallelujah and so if you have been baptized in the holy spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues hallelujah you have a heavenly language you have a heavenly prayer language hallelujah and sometimes you just need to spend time speaking hallelujah praying in the spirit hallelujah because when you pray in the spirit the holy spirit hallelujah can strengthen you spiritually the holy spirit can pray what you don't know how to pray when you don't know how to pray when you don't know how to get your breakthrough hallelujah spend time praying in the holy spirit let him pray through you romans 8 26 this is coming from the king james it says likewise the spirit also helpeth 
our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered come on now when you are in a situation when you are in a circumstance when there is something going on and you don't know what to pray that's the time to pray in your heavenly language hallelujah that's the time to allow the holy spirit to pray through you hallelujah so that you can get your breakthrough it can you know breakthrough you might need a breakthrough in your body you might need a breakthrough in your health you might need a breakthrough hallelujah in your finances whatever it is the holy spirit will pray the perfect will of god at that moment romans 8 26 this is coming from the contemporary english it says in certain ways we are weak okay but the spirit is here to help us for example when we don't know what to pray for all right the spirit prays for us in ways that cannot be put into words okay so when you don't know what to pray for that's when again yield to the holy spirit and begin to pray in tongues hallelujah let the holy spirit hallelujah groan in the spirit hallelujah let the holy spirit hallelujah deal with the situation you have to learn how to pray spend time praying in the holy spirit jude 120 this is uh, again you're anointed for breakthrough the holy spirit when you pray in the spirit he will break some things up in the spirit hallelujah he will strengthen you spiritually joe jude 120 this is coming from the king james it says but ye beloved building yourselves up on your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost when you're in a spiritual battle sometimes you can you know get a little weary well that's when you need to pray spend more and more time praying in the holy spirit so you can build that faith back up hallelujah because remember faith is the force faith is what we use hallelujah to receive from god hallelujah everything we receive from god we have to use our faith hallelujah and remember we were talking about our our blessings are laid up in heavenly realms and it's the enemy in second heaven that's trying to stop you from getting your blessings hallelujah so sometimes you have to build your faith up how do you build your faith up spend time praying in the holy spirit because you're anointed for breakthrough jude 120 i want to give it to you from the god's word it says dear friends use your most holy faith to grow pray with the holy spirit's help okay the holy spirit is your helper the holy spirit is going to help you get your breakthrough all right hallelujah praise god i'm trying to make it plain jude 120 the contemporary english version it says dear friends keep building on the foundation of your most holy faith as the holy spirit helps you to pray okay so the holy spirit is going to help you he's going to strengthen you in the midst of trying to get your breakthrough hallelujah you're not in this thing alone jesus sent the helper jesus goes before you hallelujah to break open hallelujah and then you have the holy spirit with you you have the holy spirit in you you are not without help beloved hallelujah you're gonna get your breakthrough i want you to say i'm gonna get my breakthrough i want you to say i'm anointed for breakthrough amen get a little attitude with it hallelujah because hallelujah when you know that you know that you know hallelujah that god is for you who can be against you okay so just be encouraged on today because it's not by might and it's not by power it's by the spirit of the lord now that's zechariah 4 6 i want you to get that in your notes zechariah 4 6 hallelujah in the midst of a battle you have to know this is the word of the lord hallelujah not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the lord of hosts hallelujah so the holy spirit is going to help us to break through you are anointed with the holy spirit 
to break through. It's not by your might. It's not by your power. It's by the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, hallelujah, is the power arm of God. Amen. And he's with you and he's going to help you break through. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is a good word. Now, I wanted to just um, take a few minutes before I conclude this session to just look, go back to Isaiah 10, 27. And I want to share this verse in a couple of different translations, because when you hear the different translations, again, you get more revelation, more understanding, and the Holy Spirit will generally highlight a a word or a translation that really ministers to you. So I'm going to start, I'm going to read it again in the King James, and then I'm just going to share it in a few, couple of other translations. This is how you meditate the word. Hallelujah. To, to read it in different translations, then to pray over it in the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit um, give you the revelation he wants you to have. So we're in the secret place time, and this is a time of study, and this is a time of, of prayer. And so, hallelujah, let's do it. Isaiah 10, 27, the King James says, And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Okay, you're anointed for breakthrough. You're going to break out of the yoke. You're going to break out of the restraint of the enemy. Hallelujah. And that restraint is going to be destroyed. Destroyed means demolished. It means dismantled. So the hold of the enemy in your life. Hallelujah. The anointing of God upon your life. Hallelujah. Is going to destroy it. Hallelujah. So just pray into that. Hallelujah today. Just pray into that. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. The anointing is going to tear off all of the restraints. Hallelujah. Isaiah 10, 27, the God's word translation says, At this time, their burden will be removed from your shoulder. The yoke will be removed from your neck. The yoke will be torn away because you have grown fat. Now, in, in the spirit, to be fat means you have increased, okay? You have grown in your, in, in your faith. You have grown in, the, in your wisdom, in your revelation, in your understanding. And hallelujah, when you, when you have revelation on a thing, hallelujah, it gives you power over the thing. Hallelujah. And that yoke will be torn off. That limitation, that restraint, hallelujah, will come off of your life. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I just want you to be encouraged by this word on today, beloved. Before we go, we're going to just pray. They just pray in the spirit for a minute. Rabasonde de bo shanda la 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 masanda la 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 mosoya re kondi di bo re masia ye konda la 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 masa. Father God, I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! That this is a time of breakthrough for your people, God, and I release breakthrough as a prophet of God. Hallelujah! I release and I speak breakthrough. Hallelujah! Over everybody over, under the sound of my voice. Hallelujah! That this is a time of breakthrough. Hallelujah! That the anointing removes every burden and destroys every yoke, every boundary, every gate. Hallelujah! Breakthrough. This is a time of breakthrough and your people breakthrough. Finances breakthrough. Health breakthrough. Relationships breakthrough. Hallelujah. This is a set time of breakthrough. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That you are the Lord of the breakthrough, that you are the breaker. Hallelujah. And you are breaking us through. Hallelujah. This is a time that we are going forward. This is a time of advance. And Father, I just release it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Well, beloved, I pray that you've been blessed by this session. Hallelujah. This is Prophetess Equilla. 
Hallelujah. And I thank you for joining me. Hallelujah. I hope you come back again.